If you want 2023 to be the year where you successfully scale your e-commerce business with Google Ads, seeing month on month results like this, where every month as you increase the cost, you're also seeing extra conversion values coming at a higher ROAS and also the whole time reducing your cost per conversion. And as you can see in this campaign, using the strategy which I'm about to show you, we took the cost per conversion down from $43 at the start of the year all the way down to under $15 while at the same time taking the conversion value from sometimes being only about $450 to $1,000 a week, all the way up to seeing weeks of close to $9,000. With the most important thing being that this business owner saw a direct correlation of when we increased our ad spend, we also saw an increase in conversion value. And that's the goal for e-commerce business owners because when you know that when you increase the amount that you spend in Google Ads, that you're also gonna see the same or even better, a higher level of revenue coming in, it makes it an easy decision. But to be able to make that easy decision of knowing that you can scale your Google Ads campaign while also seeing you increase the levels of revenue and profit that your businesses receive, you need to make sure that you're using the correct structure for your Performance Max campaigns. Now, since Google Ads threw away smart shopping throughout 2022, places like YouTube have been a melting pot of people coming up with new strategies and new ideas that can help you with your Performance Max campaigns. But in all of my time being in Google Ads since 2010, there's one thing that I've learned, and that is that these new ideas and new strategies and new secret ways to grow your business with Google Ads all have one thing in common, is that they go away as fast as they come. And the reason for that is because these ideas and strategies are nothing more than ideas and unproven strategies. Because I wanna stress that regardless of which type of Google Ads campaign that you're gonna be running, for success in Google Ads, you need to firstly know exactly how that campaign functions. And then once you know how that campaign functions, you can then go about putting together the correct campaign structure and optimization strategy so that you can see those month on month increasing results. And another thing that I wanna stress is that success in Google Ads usually is not seen in a period of one or two weeks. Like that example that I showed you, at the start of the year, they were getting that ROAS of 2.2, so barely making profit, but by the end of the year, we had that above 7X ROAS. And that took month on month of building into a 3X ROAS, then a 4X ROAS, all the way up to 7X ROAS. And we're gonna continue that throughout this year so that we can get that campaign above a 10X ROAS. So in this video, I'm gonna take you through something better than a top secret strategy that no one else is using in Performance Max. And I'm gonna take you through the data-driven, results-focused structure that works for Performance Max campaigns. And the reason for why I know that this works is because in my position where I'm coaching different clients and also different digital agencies, along with all of the account reviews I do in my personal coaching clients. And then on top of that, also going through the individual campaigns that I personally manage, I get to see a million dollars of ad revenue spent in Performance Max campaigns every single month. And that gives me a lot of data so that I can break it down and then share with you what is working and how you can apply these structures and strategies for Performance Max into your own business. And also the best news is, is that what I'm about to share with you works on any budget. The example I'm gonna walk you through and the data that you've already seen is for a smaller e-commerce brand that started off spending only about $1,500 a month, but by the end of the year, we had that up to $5,000 a month. But I've also rolled out and seen success time and time again for Performance Max campaigns at all levels, including businesses that are running campaigns with ad spend of up to $200,000 in a single month. And before we get into all that great teaching, just in case we haven't met yet, my name is Aaron Young, I'm from Define Digital Academy, and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads master. And in 2023, if you want to stay up to date with what is really working in Google Ads based on data and not some new strategies, why don't you subscribe to my channel and also turn on that notification button so that you always know when I 
release a new free Google Ads training video. To see success and extra profits with Performance Max campaigns for your business in 2023, you need to firstly understand not only how Performance Max campaigns work, but also the different elements that make up a Performance Max campaign. Now the core difference between Performance Max and other campaigns that you may have used like search and shopping campaigns is that for search and shopping campaigns, they are 100% built on intent-based marketing. What we mean by that is that your ads in your search and your shopping campaigns are only triggered when someone completes a targeted keyword search for your search campaign, or they complete a search which is related to one of your products which you're marketing in your shopping feed. But for Performance Max, these type of campaigns are not only based on search intent. So as we said, with search and shopping campaigns, your ads will only ever trigger when someone types in a related keyword search into Google search. But for Performance Max, yes, that still happens in that your ads do show on the search and the shopping network, but the big difference with Performance Max is that Performance Max will also go out and find new potential customers, and they call this a discovery element of the campaign, and this is where it'll show your ads in the display network, on YouTube, and also in Gmail, even before someone has searched for your brand or your type of product. And then on top of that, so it firstly goes out and tries to find new potential customers for your business. It is then there and ready to show those custom intent-based ads in the search and shopping network when someone completes a targeted keyword search. But then it goes further than that and it continues to go through a remarketing phase where it will continue to show your display ads, your YouTube ads, and also your Gmail ads to that user once they've done an initial interaction with either your website or one of your previous ads. And this is the reason for why the acquisition window with Performance Max campaigns is a lot longer than a search or shopping campaign. And it's quite common that you won't see any results with your Performance Max campaign for the first three or four weeks. And remembering the core reason for that is because with Performance Max, it's not just focused on that custom intent so that it's not just triggering ads when someone completes a search term, it's also going out and introducing your product before the user is completely ready to buy your product. So firstly with the Performance Max, remember that you can't just give this campaign a go for a one or two weeks. And with Performance Max, to see its true value, I recommend, especially if this is your first campaign, that you give it a good 90 days before you make a decision of whether this is gonna be a successful campaign for your business. So now that we've discussed the core differences in Performance Max versus other campaigns which you may have used, like search and shopping campaigns, I now wanna take you through one of the core most important structures that you need to have set correctly if you're gonna see success with Performance Max campaigns. And that is that your asset groups within an individual Performance Max campaign should be based around collections of products as opposed to groups of audiences or groups of keywords. And the reason for why I wanna stress this is because late in 2022, it became a bit of a trend that people would set up multiple asset groups within one Performance Max campaign, and they're all just targeting different sets of keywords and different sets of audiences. But the reason for why that is not recommended is because Google makes very, very clear that when you set up an asset group, that when you give the asset groups and targeting around keywords and audiences, is that Google will go beyond your selections to find some extra conversions. So because we know that is a core functionality of Performance Max campaigns, we can scrap that strategy and focus on the correct structure of making sure that you have asset groups within your Performance Max campaigns that are based around similar groups of products. And let me show you what I mean. Using this website, The Iconic, as an example, if you wanted to start a campaign around men's clothing, one of the things that you would do is that you would set up separate Performance Max campaigns, being one for your shoes, and then within your Performance Max shoes campaign, you would have different asset groups based around the different types of shoes. So your boots, your casual shoes, your dress shoes, sandals and slippers. And then if you wanted to set up a secondary Performance Max campaign, you could have this 
based around different types of clothing. And especially if you wanted to focus on jackets and jumpers, you could have a Performance Max campaign that was purely focused on coats and jackets. And then it also had different asset groups for coats and jackets, jumpers and cardigans. And you could even put in there things like suits and blazers. So it's one core campaign, which is focusing on the core product category of men's jackets. And then you've got the different asset groups breaking out to the different types of jackets or the different types of shoes. And to make it clear, this is what your Performance Max campaign structure would look like. So within your Google Ads account, you would have your individual Performance Max campaigns. So as we said, this one could be for men's shoes, and then this one could be for that men's jackets. And then you could have another campaign for women's shoes and women's jackets. And then below these individual Performance Max campaigns, you would have your different asset groups. So for example, in this men's shoes campaign, you would have your casual shoes and your formal shoes here. You could also have different asset groups within this same campaign for sandals and your other types of footwear. And then the benefit of this is by breaking them down into individual asset groups, you can have different products and keywords and also different ads which took people through to the relevant product page. So for example, if someone was to do a search for men's sandals, it wouldn't show this formal shoes asset group, it would show this men's sandals asset group. It would then take them through to specific ads, so that would be different images and products which were better related to their initial search, and then it would also take them through to the relevant product page. And this is the winning structure that I'm using for my Performance Max campaigns that is seeing that is seeing fantastic results for my clients and the accounts that are review, like the one that I showed you at the start of this video. So if you wanna see continued success and increased profits and revenue with your Performance Max campaigns in 2023, the most important thing to remember is that you firstly get that account structure right. With that account structure being that we have Performance Max campaigns that are based around larger product categories which then have individual asset groups within that same campaign targeting individual groups of products. Remembering that example of men's shoes being the core campaign for your Performance Max campaign with those different asset groups around the different types of men's shoes. So whether that would be casual shoes, formal shoes or your sandals. And the reason for why that is so successful is because remember that warning which I gave that you don't wanna set up your asset groups around the different groups of audiences or keywords because Google goes beyond those selections. The power of having asset groups means that you can have targeted ad copy, targeted images and targeted videos directing people to the closest and best targeted URL or product page from when they completed their initial search or saw your initial Performance Max ad. Now, using that correct structure for your Performance Max campaign is a vitally important step, but that's only half of the story. If you wanna see success with your Performance Max campaigns in 2023, you also need to make sure that you have the correct optimization strategy. And to help you with this, and so that you can also see increases in the amount of profit that you're getting with your Performance Max campaigns every single month, I wanna give you free access to a tool which is called my Google Ads e-commerce optimization checklist. And this is a checklist that is specifically designed for Performance Max and shopping campaigns. And it lets you know exactly what you need to be optimizing in your Performance Max campaign every 72 hours, every week, every month, and every 90 days. And to get your copy right now, all you need to do is to follow that link in the description below. Plus, to help you a little bit further, if you go through and watch this video right here, I'll show you how you can optimize your Performance Max campaign using my e-commerce checklist. Thank you again for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you in that optimizing Performance Max campaign video very, very soon. See ya.